Hi guys, if you are currently pursuing or going to do MSc Physics or Applied Physics or Material Physics, watch this video till the end. I am 100% sure that I am going to clear your doubts regarding the future and give you crystal clear clarity about what you should do. Ok, let's start it. I am going to divide you into two categories. Ok, the first category is that those who are highly passionate in physics. But what does that mean? It means that when you are reading or listening anything or any concepts, any theories in physics or science in general, you will not get bored. You will find it interesting. Here I am not speaking about the people who get top marks in the curriculum. Top marks are achieved by those who has the ability to revise again and again and do extreme hard work on the day just before the exam. There are exceptions but I am speaking generally here. Here I am speaking about those people who enjoy reading physics books and listening lectures without exams as an objective in the mind and want the physics subject to persist in their life. For these people one of the best options which give them satisfaction and content is becoming scientists or doing research for that they need to do PhD. With an exception that in ISRO DRDO PhD is not a necessary requirement. There are many ISRO centers like URSC, VSSC, SSC and so on but the chances of getting a position there is rudimentary because they will have only one seat or two seats for science students. One more thing is bark. You can get scientific officer post in which you are basically going to do research. There are two entry modes for this. Through gate exam for which the rank should be less than 150 and bark OCES exam. After this you have to qualify one of the relatively hard interview and that's it. For PhD you can do it in India or abroad as well. Both has its own merits and demerits and at the end of the day it depends on personal preferences. If you want to do it abroad there are certain things that you should do while doing MSc. Try to do a good masters project and if possible can take publish the paper with you as a second author. Present your works in the conferences. Try to do as many internships as you can in good research institutes like IISCs, top IITs and ISIS. Start contacting professors working outside in your preferred field after the first year itself. And if you are unfortunately not able to do any of these then don't worry. Get a JRF position for short term, it can be 6 months or 1 year in any good institute. While doing it, apply for PhD position abroad. It increases the probability for you to get selected. I am from Pondicherry Central University which is not that much popular. Many of my classmates have secured good PhD position in various top universities abroad. I will give you their contact details in the telegram link that I attach below. Now to do PhD in India in top institutes, you need any of these requirements. JRF, Inspire, GATE. And if you want to know about a department in India in which you have 100% surety to get placed as soon as you finish your PhD in top material research companies like Philips, Shell, Unilever, Western Digital, Applied Materials, Centum, Wacon and lot more as material scientists with good salaries in the science department at IISC. Here in these companies you will be designing and planning experiments and doing research and applying this physics that you have learned. Anyone with background in physics, material science, chemistry and engineering can enter into this department. The requirement for getting a chance to attend interview in this department is that you should have a gate rank below 100 or Inspire Fellowship or GRF. I'm going to do PhD in this department. I have made an entire playlist containing all the important questions that are relevant to these interviews. I will be sharing more details about this department in my future videos. The second one is those who are not interested in doing research, those who just want a job. For them, they can go to teaching jobs such as guest lecture in fully government or aided colleges for which they have to qualify in a tech sub. Lecture in private universities, subject matter expert in companies like Physics World and Academy, system professor in government colleges for which they should have net qualification as well as they have to qualify one government exam. They can do be it and become teacher for higher secondary classes as well. The second one is as process engineers for which they have to do MTech preferably in IIC, IIT, Daisy from which they get directly placed with a good salary package. There are three MTech courses available in Science Department of IISC. The first one is MTech in Semiconductor Technology and the second one is again MTech in Semiconductor Technology but here it is one year in IISC and one year in Taiwan. The third one is M Engineering in Semiconductor Technology which is a one year course. These MTech courses has 100% displacements. While doing MTech you will get to work in state of art National Land of Fabrication Center with 14,000 square feet of class 100 by 1000 clean room. NNFC National Land of Fabrication Center is one of the top labs in the world. I'm not sure about the surety of placement in IIT Delhi. Also, there is another MTech course, Quantum Technology in IIC, which has good placement. The selection is done through interviews. The nature of the question that would be asked for MTech interviews will be similar to that asked in PhD interviews. So, I have created an in depth playlist containing only the important questions that are relevant to such interviews. To get a chance to attend these interviews, you should have a gate rank less than 600. This can vary from year to year. Uh, this rank is not that ha hard to achieve. Coming to the third one, this is least known by the MSc graduates. It is industrial jobs in the private sector. You can apply for intern position in many private companies, so those who are working in the battery field, semiconductor field and after working 6 months or 1 year as an intern, you can become a permanent employee with a good salary. I know a friend who is currently working in a TRNL Energy, a battery research company. I will make a detailed video after inviting her via a video conference so that we can discuss all the steps, necessary steps to how to get this position in these private companies. So that's it. Apart from this, there are also other opportunities as well. However, this is the information that I know with complete surety. If I come across any other opportunities, I'll be sharing in this channel. To get updates from my side, I want you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So, see you in another video.